I'm just gonna be completely honest, this video only exists because I have no content ready currently. The Nightmare Crackhead video is still in the works. Commentary channels. You're watching one right now, sort of. Not exactly. I wouldn't say I'm a commentary channel, but it's just the most frequent content I make. Not even because I want to. Things just keep cropping up that I feel the need to mention that I didn't really want to talk about when I'd much rather make literally any other video. The point of commentary channels is usually to help things. You make a commentary on something that you think is in swift need of improvement, or there's some sort of issue with, but lately, it seems like commentary channels are more of a part of the problem, or are the problem, than the things that they're covering. I do have one specific channel in focus of this video, but for the, fir for the first part, and for the most part, I'm just going to be talking about commentary channels in general. I already talked about how annoying it was with everyone absolutely scrambling to cover every single piece of the Sniper Wolf drama all at different intervals, making a bunch of videos with annoying clickbait thumbnails that are already outdated, making it look like something new happened when in reality, you already heard that a week ago, because they're just on whack schedules. And even my video that tried to cover absolutely everything was immediately outdated within like a week. But at the end of the day, it was still very important for people to cover that topic because it was a serious issue. Now, what if we took things that are not serious issues and made them look to like serious issues for absolutely no reason? We're talking about The Amazing Digital Circus because of course we are. It was inevitable. From day one, The Amazing Digital Circus fandom was scared of itself. It knew that it was inevitable that it was going to become a bad fan base, and it was dreading the day that it happened. But in doing so, it single-handedly turned itself into a bad fan base by worrying so much. It doesn't help that on day one and even before that, the UTTPs were already targeting the videos, which stirred more hate. But I think I should talk more about UTTPs in a bigger video, because there's something that I've had a personal vendetta against. The first instance of commentary channels absolutely overblowing something that meant absolutely nothing was the first Sean Chiplock drama, not the current one, the first one, where some boz some loser bozos on Twitter decided to dig up some ancient tweets from him that had some li slightly offensive jokes. Typical nothing burger drama. So instead of letting it die down and people forget about it, these stupid channels just have to forward this info to absolutely everyone, to millions of kids, for them to all make their opinions on it for no reason, and then start randomly siding with people over it. When they could have ignored the whole thing because it meant nothing. Then this happened again when Michael Kovach was beefing with some channels that were AI synthesizing his voice. He did make a public tweet on this, but at the end of the day, this is still between those two people. This doesn't need to be forwarded to the entire YouTube community. And people like taking sides in this are, have got to be some of the most brain dead people ever. It's his voice. He has all the right to be upset when someone is trying to replicate his own voice for profit. There is no sides here. Yes, it's supposed to be Jax's voice, but at the end of the day, if you listen to Michael Kovach just talking and then listen to Jax, it's pretty much just the same. It put only He only puts like a slight bit more inflection on certain words and more attitude, but that's literally just his voice. The AI synthesizer was also super rude about it, so there was absolutely no reason to take his side. But at the end of the day, don't go after anyone because the whole point of this video is to be making these things die down and people care about them less, not make them worse. However, I will say that AI synthesized voices as a whole have just been a giant plague on the internet and should be stopped. Because none of these voice actors ever consented to having their voice be replicated by robots. And it just discourages people from voice acting and voice acting is something that I think more people should try. Because it's something that pretty much anyone can do, obviously more people can do it better, but you don't need to, like, learn how to do it. You pretty much can just do it. And people have just gotten really lazy by using AI synthesized voices of any random characters they want to make memes out of. Then there's the fan art issues. You already know what it is, and if you don't, don't look it up. It is a bad thing that it exists, but it's been absolutely overblown out the window. Every community has had this, including the weird YouTube videos. I've seen these videos 
stalk my recommended for ages. Specifically only when I'm searching something and then it shows the for you that isn't related to the search. It only ever happens and I don't understand that. If someone could explain why it will never show up in my regular recommended or in my while you're watching video recommended, but it will only show up when you're searching something and then it's in your recommended. I don't understand that. If someone could explain that to me, that would be cool. I even checked one of these channels and they've been doing this before the digital circus. They even did it with Murder Drums, the previous show with Bane by Glitch. And if you go even further back, they've done it with other properties as well. And I've even seen some of them crop up every once in a while. It is good that people are calling this out, I am glad. But stop saying that it's a problem with the amazing digital circus and not just a problem with YouTube in general. It's just because a new property came out and people started simping over the characters. Any property that comes out with, with characters that people simp over has had this happen. And Parlo is the biggest offender in this. He is not, he will not shut up about this. He's talked about it in every single Digital Circus video he's posted. Because he got a singular channel terminated, he's probably gonna think that he's some kind of hero in this. I've gotten three channels terminated before, call me the next Puritan leader. The bottom line is, when you see these videos, report them and then move on with your life. Because did you ever think, hmm, maybe the degenerate artists aren't particularly happy about getting criticized every 10 seconds and are making more degenerate art out of spite. Which leads into my next point, that this is your fault. Things have escalated horribly. We've gotten to the point where Gooseworks has been doxxed and someone is trying to make fake incriminating tweets to cancel Michael. And do you think any of this would have happened if it, there wasn't so much drama stirring around? These channels are making this seem way more convoluted than it actually is and are stirring more hate towards the show, which is encouraging more people to do these kind of things. Like look at this thumbnail from Parlo. This thumbnail makes it look like Michael Kovac is actually guilty and did something horrible. And he didn't. Someone made a fake of his and made that look horrible. Parlo is actively trying to stir stuff up for more views and more clout because the more serious the situation is, the more people are gonna wanna see it. Might as well knock them all out of the park and talk about the Sean thing too. What Sean did was creepy and weird, but he's going to be on a interview on YouTube, so we should just wait for that before we make any final opinions. The person who accused him of the horrible things is an even worse person with infinitely more degenerate activities who has infinite counts of gaslighting and manipulating so we shouldn't be trusting anything they say parlo with his super smart takes on everything said that this doesn't change anything yes it does if the person who are getting your info from is a manipulator then it definitely changes the possibility that this could be fake i personally don't think it's fake but his take is awful and Glip slash Glitch Puppet needs to be deplatformed off of everything. They are a criminal, and so is their family. Usually, I'd encourage proving things, but the things that they've done are so absolutely abhorrent that I would recommend that you don't actually do your own research because you don't even want to know. Okay, it's time to get back to the more general stuff. If you've been around the early points of my channel, you know that I was a big advocate of like cringe culture and just like calling people stupid for making cringe videos and making fun of children. And I realized that while I still hate those videos they make and all the cringe activities they do, there's no point of doing that. So I decided to focus all my commentary things on like actual issues, terrible people and such. So I just found this new commentary channel that thinks they're so fresh and professional, who's just completely hypocritical and double standard, doesn't actually bring up any of the actual horrible things within the topics he mentions, is, makes really painfully unfunny insults, and thinks that saying his videos or his own videos are trash will somehow make all of his things okay. He's a pretty new channel, so he's only got like a couple videos, so we can cover all of them. What annoys me is how fast he grew. He's already got 500 subscribers somehow, and got those annoying kids that are like, Oh my gosh, this is so underrated and true. No, no, it is not underrated. There are people with only like 20 subscribers who make amazing content that you don't even know exists. Those people are underrated. 
So let's start with the first video, this one. Of course, he starts his career by clowning on the Digital Circus fandom and talking about the fan art. Video is just your most shallow fandom bad video you've ever seen. And the only reason I think it got picked up by the algorithm is because of its unique title. Despite bringing up actual issues, all he really does is say, wow, that's pretty cringe, and then move on. <clears throat> I was actually wrong, this is his first video, just calling out some random Roblox YouTuber that also oh, Parlo called out, wow, who, who's, who's shocked. And again, he's talking about a topic that actually has issues with it. This person's ch content is disgusting and should be age restricted but instead of actually talking about any of that he's just like wow this is so cringe let's re re react to this cringe content and doesn't show any of the actually horrible stuff and then when he makes a gotcha life video this is the easiest topic to clown on how do you mess this up instead of actually bringing up any of the important issues he just roasts some random nine-year-old's gotcha life videos with only the vaguest semblance of actually talking about something serious, which is that one of the videos had a little bit too much piss in it. But honestly, that's probably one of the most tame videos of that caliber that I've ever seen. He doesn't bring up the fact that the creator is of Child Predator, he doesn't bring up the fact that he has a Discord with Child Predators, he doesn't bring up that the community is toxic, he just makes fun of some children. But the video that piqued my anger is this one, about the Paper Dragon community starts by saying it's cringe, which, like, yeah, the, the style of video is cringe, but you make those shorts too, so you're a hypocrite. Right? And I think he's just, like, while I've, I've also been against, like, hater culture, like, just saying, wow, you're a hater, you're jealous, you're this, that, blah, 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 how dare you have a negative opinion on this. I've always been against that, but this is, like, the one time where this man is just hating. Like... These are people who actually have put some creativity and talent on the internet. And you, with your MS Paint, Roblox, Avatar, Rant Sona thing, trying to act like they're the cringe ones. Like, yeah, like, okay, man. This is just actually you being jealous of actual talent and creativity. And then he, like, says that this random name which actually looks like a decent original name for once, is a keyboard smash. I'm sorry, your username is Z0YLX, and you're saying that this is a keyboard smash, despite the fact that it actually rolls off the tongue pretty good. He also just makes me cr feel embarrassed for using Latin, because, he's, because he decides to say like, Wow, well, you should use Latin for names because it's cool and mysterious. Like, thanks for ruining something that's actually cool. But the thing that gets me the most mad about this is the fact that he, the first he says there's three things we're going to be saying, and then when the video ends, it says there actually isn't a third thing. The community's not that bad. I couldn't actually find anything awful. So, this is just... So, one, this means that you were actively searching for controversy in this community, because we're not allowed to have nice things, I guess. You lied about it to make it look worse than it actually was, and you just straight up admitted that the community's not actually bad, and that you're just getting mad for nothing. And he says at the end of the video he didn't even feel like making videos today, so why did you make the video? Then his final video is about Gorilla Tag, and he calls it a community you've never heard of? Like, what are you talking about? Yes, I have heard of it. It was pretty big for it being cringe and having toxic kids, so you're not, don't act like you've just uncovered something. And while there definitely is toxic kids, it's definitely not as bad as he's making a look. At least he used footage that wasn't very convincing, because for one thing, he played so many meme sound effects, I couldn't hear what is supposed to be a kid being toxic. And then he just plays this entire video from someone else, unedited in its entirety, on there that has nothing to do with Gorilla Tag except it being like in the background and that has nothing to do with toxic kids. Textbook freebooting and yet he still has the audacity to make fun of Sniper Wolf. I mean obviously Sniper Wolf did more than freebooting but still. And then the rest are just like these annoying YouTube shorts that I'm not even going to try to understand. The baseline is please grow as a person, unironically. You're on the right track and then you're just not following it. It's like you're the train and you're just next to the track on the side, driving down the same path, not on the track. That's you. Oh yeah, I forgot. And then he says, he also said about the name that JetTPP could do better. Yeah, okay. 
yeah, it, I guess it was pretty obvious by the fact that he uses the text-to-speech voice and said chat TDP can do better, that this guy's probably not actually a real person, and is just an AI trying to spread AI propaganda to start the AI invasion. So yeah, commentary has been ruined. It's been just marginalized to filth. It's become more of a problem than the thing that they t than the things they cover at this point. The amount of commentary generals that are just like, wow, this thing is cringe. Let's point and laugh. Instead of talking about actual issues, is getting out of hand. And it's actively making the situations that they're trying to help worse. Also, stupid MS Paint Roblox man, if you're watching this video, please just delete your channel and start over. Just start having a fresh start where you actually talk about things that are worth talking about. Because the popularity that you've gained is completely undeserved. And you're make, being a bad influence on children. Like, of all the things that you covered, you never said the Roblox community was bad in any of your videos. I don't care if you said it in the shorts, those don't count for nothing. Assuming you even did, theoretically. And I feel like I'm contributing to the problem at least a little bit. And I just, like, these are so easy to make. The only effort I have to put is looking for some images to put, and theoretically, I could just leave you on a black screen the entire time. I've seen multiple people put hours upon hours of effort into their stuff to eventually hit 500, and this man just hit 500 by having the worst takes imaginable it is just depressing, honestly. The fact that people out there actually agree with his takes, that's sad. And kind of frightening. At this point, I'm just accidentally stretching the runtime. I'm going to end this video now. If Roblox Man's watching this, please actually take this criticism and improve and don't just deflect everything. Please. Please.